All right, so hello. <laughs> Welcome again to the teleconference. I'm going to start by answering a couple of written questions. People have typed in some questions. And then I'll take some calls. You can, uh, you can ask me questions uh, on Skype, on the phone. So the first one is from, surprise, surprise, why am I not surprised by our first writer, Julia from Italy, um, <laughs> our super enthusiastic member over in Italy. Um, so she's got a couple questions, and they're very good ones. She said, I'd like to know about past and future courses. So she's asking about the past courses. I'd like to know if you're going to sell them in packages for crazy collectors like I am. Okay, good question. And then for future courses, I'd like to know if you're going to organize the teacher training courses that you talked about on Facebook. Both good questions. Let me talk about the past ones first. So the, the main past lessons would be my original Effortless English lessons. So those are the ones that we sold for, I don't know, several years. And until recently, when we replaced those with Power English. And we, we've replaced them because the Power English just has much better sound quality. Um, and I, the, all of the topics in Power English are very powerful, very positive. That's all we call it, Power English, I guess. <laughs> but they're all topics on, on, on success and happiness and health and really good positive topics. The original lessons were the, obviously the original ones that I made. And uh, the topics are varied. There are lots of different topics. And uh, they're not all positive, but I think they're all interesting. Uh, but the main point is that the technical part of the lessons is not as good, the audio quality. I recorded the original lessons in my apartment on my computer, whereas Power English was recorded in a professional studio. So the question is then, what am I going to do with the old lessons? And actually, I have been thinking of breaking them into pieces. So taking the whole pack of the original lessons and maybe breaking it into smaller pieces so that some people could try, you know, the effortless English lessons, buy them, and they could do it just, you know, very cheaply. They could maybe get four lesson sets or five lesson sets and try it out. And then maybe, you know, a few months later, they could then buy the next little one. So I might try something like that. Um, now, of course, VIP members can buy the whole pack on our Ning social site. So there's a little link on the right side. You can do that if you like. Okay, now as far as the future courses, the teacher training, absolutely, I am planning to uh, do a teacher training course. And the main question now for me is just the technical part again, is, is just, you know, how many days will it be and, uh, you know, how will we do it? Will it be online or only in person or both? And right now I'm thinking that for teacher training, it'll be both online and live. So there'll be two parts. I, I realize not everybody can come to Hawaii to train personally with me. However, that is the best because then I can watch you try some of the teaching techniques and, you know, give it, give suggestions and all of those things. And I can demonstrate in person. So I think what I'm going to do is set up an online course first and teach all of the basic information for teachers, how to teach the effortless English way. And that includes classroom discipline and public speaking, you know, how to, how to be a good speaker on a stage so the audience pays attention and focuses on you, and then the actual, you know, English teaching methods and techniques and all the little tricks and things like that for, for teachers. Teach all of that online you know, with videos, with text, with audios, so you'd learn it all, and then we would probably have a, probably a three-day training here in Hawaii at the end of this summer, we're looking at maybe beginning of August. And we'll see how many people can come to that. And probably that would be a small training. We would do it just in our house uh, here on Maui. Possibly, we, if we got a lot of people, we could find a conference room. So that's the plan right now. Um, the other thing I'd like to talk about that Julia didn't ask about but, but is related to this question is, is the question of um, what's going to happen with the VIP program. And we have another question here kind of related to this from one of our members, um, Hassan from Istanbul, talking about uh, he wants to understand more TV and radio and movies and things like that. So 
What's going to happen with the VIP program? Well, right now we're creating a new member download area. Don't worry, we're keeping the Ning social site. We're going to connect the Ning social site to this new member area. And happily, my, my programmer is back. <laughs> I got him back, and he's working on it right now. And we're going to add some new stuff in there. You will continue to get one new VIP lesson set with all the lessons in it every month. You will also continue to get every month the new Learn Real English lesson set. So you get that bonus one every month as well. So you'll be getting two full lesson sets every single month. That will be the same. In addition to that, I'm going to create a section in the VIP website called Extras. And in that section, I'm going to have some extra audio. And all of the audio will have text also to help you understand it. And I've, I've thought of a few categories, and, and actually some of our members have suggested a few categories. Uh, one category will be personal phone calls. So that's as it, said, as it sounds like, that's me just calling up my friends and family and maybe some other people, maybe other teachers or just whoever, and having conversations with them, just natural conversations. Um, and I'll just chat with them. It'll be a totally natural conversation between two native, two native speakers. And then I'll record that and put it on the VIP site with the text. So you can start hearing you know, very, very, very natural English conversations. And yes, that will help you understand radio and movies much better because we'll be using slang, idioms, all of those things. Especially when I call my family. See, I'll call, I call them usually. I don't tell them I'm recording the conversation. So I know, but they don't know. I tell them after, <laughs> you know, when I put it on the website. But they, otherwise, they don't know. And uh, our families tend to use a lot of slang and idioms. And that's very good for you. So you can really exposed to that. You can hear other pronunciation, not just mine. So that's one of the extra categories. Another extra category, which was suggested by CART, one of our VIP members, is uh, the category called AJ's Travel Log. Maybe we should call it AJ and Tomoe's Travel Log. And that's um, just going to be me telling stories about all my travels. I've been traveling for uh, many, 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 many years, and I love it. But I'm really bad about it. I don't take pictures very much, and uh, I don't really even put much on Facebook. Um, so this is a, a, an opportunity for me just to just tell stories about all my different travel adventures and, and, and the ones I've had myself and also traveling with Tomoe and sometimes traveling with Kristen and Joe from Learn Real English. So we can tell all these stories, and it's more audio input from, for you. So just, it's just something extra for you to listen to. Uh, another category will be these teleseminars. I plan to do these teleseminars regularly for VIP members to call in. And sometimes I'll choose topics and lecture. Sometimes, like today, it'll be more question and answer. But I'll record them all, and we'll put the recordings on the new VIP site as well. Sometimes I might share them with all of our fans on the podcast, but not all of them. Some of them, especially when I'm lecturing or talking about a certain VIP topic, that'll be just for VIP members. And I'll put that on our new site as well. And then I'll have just some miscellaneous category where I'll have audios of just me talking about different topics or different random conversations I've recorded or just whatever. So there'll be a lot of extra audio. So you'll have your two main lesson sets every month, the VIP one plus the bonus from Learn Real English. And you can focus on those as the main one. But when you want some extra listening, just something, some variety, you can listen to the extras as well. All right, so that's enough of me talking, I think. Let's get a question. So again, star two, star two to ask a question. And our first one is from the Mubarak and city, I'm not sure, Kanur, from the city Kanur. I'm not sure which country that is. Well, let's ask him one second. Hello, Mubarak, are you there? Hello? Mubarak Kunimal. Hello, hello, are you there? <laughs> I don't know. Not working. Maybe we'll try to come back to him. Not, I'm not hearing anything. So Sorry, Mubarak, I'll, I'll try you again in a minute. All right. Our next caller is 
Dun, 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 Julia, who we just mentioned. <laughs> Julia, I finally get to talk to you in person. Here we go. Hello, Julia, are you there? Hi, can you hear me? Hey! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> really, can you hear me? <laughs> of course weird? I can hear you. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm dreaming this is not real. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. How are you? I'm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in heaven. <laughs> yeah, I think. I think, Julia. We ha if we if we make an award, if we give some prize for the most energetic and enthusiastic and passionate member, I, I, I would have to give it to you. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> but it's yeah, I, I think. I think. I think the other members would agree. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> you are a fantastic teacher, and this is our dream. <laughs> Really, really, really. <laughs> you have changed my English learning, but you have changed my life completely. I'm more talkative. I really would have never imagined to talk, to speak now in English, and I have become really more talkative in Italian too. My students know this. I really can't stop speaking, <laughs> even when I speak. <laughs> and uh, I'm always thinking about it too. And so I think uh, this is because of you. This is completely because of me. But. Uh, my English is better, and my life is better, and uh, you are really my E.T. Extraterrestrial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. That's that's very nice. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's great. Wow, what what a what a great advertisement. We should record that sometime and <laughs> put it on the website. <laughs> See you. Not an advertisement, please. So, I'm going to ask you a question first, if if it's okay. 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 So my my question is this: You, as I said, you. I think you're the most enthusiastic, most you know, motivated, energetic member that that we have, and we have some really great members in the VIP program, as you know. So I'm just wondering, what what advice would you give? Like, what? How did you get that energy and motivation? And like someone who's new and joining, and they need to improve their English. What's your advice to them? What should they do? Well, maybe what I did at the beginning, because when I first listened to you, <laughs> I thought, this teacher is crazy, <laughs> but um, I like it very much. And um, what I did is uh, I believed in what you were saying, even though it was a bit strange and not usual. But it was easy to follow because it was very interesting. And uh, so my advice for me, my great friends in the forum, Oops, hello, Julia, one second. We're having a few audio yes. problems. Yes, okay. Is, okay. There we go. Okay, good. You're back. You're back. Good. Okay. So, so please I'm continue. That, uh, yes, yes. Um, so, the advice is... Oh no! Oh, hello, hello. Yes. Can you hear me? I'm sorry. Me? We're at, we're at, we're still. It's, you're kind of going in and out, in and out. Okay. <laughs> Maybe sorry. because we are really far. <laughs> yeah, you're calling from Italy. So, okay, yeah, try one more. Let's try one more time. Give a, give us a, a short answer, <laughs> as short as you can. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> short answer. Answer. I have to say only that uh, our new. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hello, hello. Can we hear? You? Yes. Okay. I'm. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what's the 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 sound coming in is so so unfortunately. Okay. But thank you. So it's it's just it's been really nice to to chat with you and hopefully we can solve some of these technical problems and and we'll have you know better call in uh, audio next time. But it's it's so great to hear your voice. It's the first time I've actually talked to you directly. Yeah, it's fantastic. Maybe it's my mic <laughs> not working on my voice, which is very low because I'm too excited to talk to you. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Don't worry, we'll do this again so you can talk to me again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> talk to you again soon. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, it's me again. So I apologize for our audio problems. So some... Uh, 
the calling in with Skype, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good, as everybody probably knows. So we'll try another call, and hope, hopefully it'll be uh, a little more clear. So as I was saying, Julia is really you know, one of our super energetic, super enthusiastic members, and that is just so, so, so important. And so many of our VIP members are energetic and enthusiastic. I mean, you guys are great. And I think that's why you, you know, improve. I mean, it's so important to have that emotion and that emotional connection to English. I just did a podcast about a topic similar to this, that, that you know, the more emotion you have about anything you're doing, positive emotion, the more success you're going to have, and you're going to have more fun. They go together. And a lot of times in school, unfortunately, you know, English has is a, is, a, is a sad, boring, stressful topic, and so all the emotions are quite negative, and therefore the progress is not very good. So it's very important to develop that positive emotion, that positive emotional connection to English. And there are many different ways to do it. You know, if you're excited about effortless English in our lessons, that's great. You know, get excited about the topics. That's why I choose topics that are focused on health and success and leadership and all of those things because I, I want you to get excited about them. Or if you're not excited about that, then find something else, but just get excited about it. All right, let's go to our next caller and let's all pray to the technical Skype gods and hope that we get a good connection. Here we go. And I apologize if I mispronounce your names. <laughs> Please correct me. So I believe it's Sudira. Sudira Guna Tunga? Yeah, it's Hello? perfect. You yeah, pronounce it correctly. Oh, how, how are, are you? you? Are you are you in India? No, I'm in Sri Lanka. I'm Sri Lankan. Sri I'm uh, yeah, presently living in the uh, UK. Oh, living in the UK. Yeah. I came to UK last year, October, for my studies as well as uh, earn some money, <laughs> actually. Oh, you recently put, um, introduced yourself on the on our social site, right? Yes, uh, VIP site. That's right. Yes. Great. Well, welcome. I, I joined the VIP in uh, January, but uh, Babal only uh, encouraged me to put my first blog post. Ah, I see. I see. And then so just now you, you started getting on our social site and, and, and writing and talking about yourself, right? Yeah. Uh, well, did you have a question or a comment? Yeah, I have a question. Actually, uh, for a whole January month, I listened to my first lesson. Then I February comfort zone lesson. But sometimes mm -hmm. I'm, uh, it's easy necessary to remember all the lessons uh, when when you're coming to the next month. Just listen to or oh, need to remember those things. I see. So your your worry is that 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 more keep coming and 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 your. Did you get me? Yep. So you're you're worried. You're saying that so you get one lesson and then you get the next one and then another one comes and then you're 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 worried about remembering everything. Is that is that correct? Yes, correct. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put you on mute for a second and then I'll I'll talk about that topic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's great meeting you. One second. Okay. Good. So that is a that's a common question actually, uh, and and people ask that question in different ways. But the basic idea is that, okay, we keep getting new stuff, you know, once a month or now, you know, we get these bonus lessons from Learn Real English also. And then, you know, another one comes and another one comes. And then maybe sometimes I might forget some of the stuff from a previous lesson. And, and there's a, people get a little stressed and a little worried about it. So I would like to say just to relax about that because the first point is that there is a lot of repetition in all of the lessons. In other words... Each month, I'm using a lot of similar phrases and vocabulary from the last month. So in other words, a lot of review, a lot, a lot, a lot. And as you know, Effortless English is a deep learning system, meaning that I want you to master, to totally master the most important fundamental parts of spoken English. So I want you to be a total master of the past tense, for example. Past tense is super important. Obviously, we use it constantly. So you should be able to use the past tense, including irregular verbs, effortlessly without thinking. 
So, of course, that means every single month you're going to be getting lessons that contain the past tense, especially the mini story lessons, but also vocabulary. You know, there's a lot of key vocabulary that I'm repeating from month to month to month. Now, there's also some new information, and it's okay if you forget things sometimes. You're not going to remember 100% of everything, you know, memorized every single month. It's not necessary. Just keep listening. You know, focus on the main VIP set each month that you get from me. And listen to that at least 10 days. At least 10 days during the month. More is fine. More is better. And then with the bonus Learn Real English lesson set, you can listen to that as much as you want to. Or as little as you want to. It's just it, That's extra for you. So you can do that 10 days also, or you could do it 5 days. It doesn't matter. That's just kind of extra. Don't stress about it. Another thing you can do for variety is that sometimes you can go back and listen to an old VIP lesson. So, for example, it's March now, and if you wanted to, you could you listen to the March lesson, the new lesson, you know, and you'll be, you know, listen to it one day, two days, five days. And if you start to get a little bored with it, if you're like, okay, I've listened to this a lot of times, then maybe take a break for a day or two and instead listen to an old lesson from two months ago or three months ago or four months ago. And listen to that for one day or two days, and then come back again to the new lesson this month. Listen to the new lesson again for another, another two days or three days or five days. And then if you need a little break again, go back and listen to another old lesson, maybe from one month ago, maybe from six months ago. And you can just mix that so you can mix it around and keep the variety. It's a good way to review, to review both the information I'm teaching you in the VIP lessons and also just any new vocabulary that you might have forgotten a little bit, so you go back and you review it one day. And by review, I mean just listen to it. You don't have to study. There's no test. We're not in school. So just listen and enjoy. So in that way, you, you, you get a nice mix of reviewing some things. You know, one day you might review, and then you listen to the new one a couple days. Then you review again, you know, listen to another old one, and then three more days of the new one. And then another day or two of a different old one, and then the new one again. So you're, that's, it's a great way. There's no exact way to do it. Just do what you enjoy and what helps you the best. And I hope I answered that question well. Let's go on to, I believe it is Maquis. Hello, Maquis? Hello, AJ. How are you? Can, can you hear me? I can. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Greece. Oh, from fantastic! Greece, from Europe, from Europe. Hello to Tomoet and every everyone else. Hello. <laughs> hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Tomoet says hi too. <laughs> well, great. So far, you. your sound is okay. So this this is great. Thank you for all. Your your uh, teaching way is very very good for me. I don't know. It's fantastic for me. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Yes. Uh, 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 I, I want uh, to, to tell you if uh, you can send us uh, much more uh, video technical le lessons. It's very, very powerful for me. I don't know for the other people. Okay. The vi which, which kind of video? The, the movie technique you send. Oh, the movie technique. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, great question. I, uh, let, I'm going to put you on mute, and I'll answer that, okay? Okay, okay. Thank good, you. good talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Um, Bye-bye. Okay, so the movie technique. Yes, I do know this is popular. And um, I know the movie technique lessons are popular because when I was teaching in a school, that was always the favorite of the students. And, of course, when I've done some online movie technique lessons, people love them. So I have one problem or challenge with movie lessons, and that is that Hollywood and the, the movie industry really hates when you use their movies. So it's a copyright problem now. So I have to be very careful. I don't want our website to be shut down uh, by <laughs> the movie industry because I'm you know, using pieces of their movies without their permission. And it's very, very, very difficult to get their permission to do this. So that's why I, I stopped doing the movie technique lesson with movies, with actually Hollywood movies, because of that. 
because of the copyright laws in the United States, and uh, they're, be they're becoming very aggressive about that, the movie industry is. So I, I would love to just, I mean, I, I thought about one time just taking one movie and doing, you know, breaking it into small pieces and doing a, a series of lessons for, for an entire movie. But again, I would have to get the permission of the producers and the company, and they don't seem to want to talk to me. I wonder why. <laughs> if any of you know uh, Steven Spielberg, please introduce him to me, and maybe I can get him to agree to this. So I can't use uh, movies from big companies without permission. However, there are some things I might be able to do in terms of um, you know, finding things like the Tony and Frank video. Uh, some of you may have seen that. There's, it's, a, it's a little free promotional video that was on YouTube that Tony Robbins did. And it's, a, it's just Tony Robbins talking to Frank Kern. Um, and they're just talking about business and marketing. And I did a little lesson on that because uh, it was, it's free and public. So Tony Robbins uh, and Frank Kern put that video out for free. Um, and it's you know public. Everybody can watch it for free. So I, I took pieces of that, and I basically I just uh, would pause it and explain the different language they were using. So I am gonna, going to try to find more things like that, um, things that are free and public, that, that are um, open copyright, in other words, that, that it, it's okay to use them for educational purposes. So that's harder to find things like that that are useful to you, but I will try to do that. And if I can find enough, maybe I will add that in our new VIP member area also. We'll have in that extras area, you know, I'll have personal phone calls, I'll have my audio travel stories, and then maybe we could have uh, movie technique or video technique lessons also. So if you have suggestions, by the way, if you know of some good videos that are you know, open and free and public, then please put them in our, on the VIP social site, our Ning site. You know, give, give me your suggestions. Put a link, and I'll, I'll look at them. And if I can find them, and if, especially if I can contact the person who made them, and they say it's okay to use them for education, then that would be great. I would be happy to do that. I like, I like doing that uh, teaching technique, and I, I do it live very frequently. So hopefully we can do that. That would be great. All right, let's see. Let me look at the written questions here and see if we've got any more. Some people have been typing their questions. They, we have a lot of people just online who have, who have not been able to call in. So, okay, I'm just going to look at these questions here. Uh, let's see, common question. All right, I'm going to answer this question because it's, it's from, uh, oh, this is from, uh, this is from Mubarak Kunimal, so. He, he, he wrote one, too. It says, AJ, could you please tell me how to improve written English? Um, yes, I can tell you. So I'm going to give you the, the core, the most basic fundamental way to improve written English. Read novels. Read novels. Of course, a novel is a, is a is a storybook, basically, right? It could be fiction. They're, they're, most novels are fiction, but uh, there are nonfiction novels as well. But it's just it's basically a storybook. The key thing here is to read easy novels. Easy novels. Easy for who? For whom? Easy for you, right? So that's going to be that's going to be different for everyone. But there is a lot of research about this that. Doing a lot of reading, especially novels, is the number one way to improve your writing. And so it's, it's, it's very similar to speaking, right? We know that doing a lot of listening is the key to improving your speaking, especially at the basic fundamental level. Well, it's the same with writing. You need to read, read, read a lot in order to improve your writing. The problem is a lot of intermediate and advanced English learners focus on reading things like the newspaper or academic papers, which are, t that's the worst. Please don't do that. Um, and, you know, difficult essays, difficult uh, papers, things like that. That will not help your writing. What you need to do, you, you really need to read 
books, full books. And they need to be easy. So how easy? You should be able to read them without a dictionary. You should not need a dictionary. Yes, there might be some new words, but when you find a new word, you should be able to guess the meaning. Right? Because you understand the situation, because you understand almost everything, it's easy for you to guess the meaning of anything that's new. That's the very easy test about, you know, to determine what level of book you need to read. So if you're reading the book and it's just really hard to understand and you need a dictionary to understand it, it's too difficult. Find something easier. It's okay to read children's novels in the beginning. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, that's great. And just read, read, read. Read for pleasure. Read novels that you enjoy. This is the key. This is how I became a better English writer. When I was a kid, I was always reading books. I read The Lord of the Rings. I love fantasy books, so I was always reading fantasy books. If you don't like fantasy, it's fine. Read science fiction. If you don't like that, read mysteries. If you don't like that, read rom- romances. It, it doesn't matter. Read the kind, of books, the kind of books that you like, but they just need to be easy. That's the, the main way to improve your writing. After you do that, you know, you're reading several novels a month, and you're just reading, reading, reading. You do that for one year. After that, maybe you can take a writing course if you want to, but not before. Reading is really... The, the big key, and then after that, you can start practicing writing a little bit. Okay, let's take another phone call. And let me see. Let me make sure we got it. We're still yeah, we're good. All right, let's see who's next. Ding 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 ding. So I'm here for my keys. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm. I'm not. Sh- uh, this just seems like an ID name, so I'm not sure if it's the actual name. So our caller's from Dubai. It's uh, R M. See R Mus. Muthalraj, Muthalraj, R-M-U-T-H-A-L-L-R-A-A-J in yeah. Dubai. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Hi, sir. Hi. Well, so what, what is your name? Muthalraj, sir. Muthalraj. Okay. Muthalraj. 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 Okay. Got yes. it. I am from India and I'm working in Dubai. Ah, you're from, originally from India. Yeah, naturally from India. I'm working in Dubai for, for six years. I will join the VIP course in November, last November. I am more, more happy that I will join to the VIP. Recently, the join. sometimes I will talk with you live to you, sir. More excited. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm happy to talk to you as well. Next one, another one, I will join to the power lesson also, sir. Power English lessons also. I will go to the thought lessons. I will go to 15, number 15. Mm-hmm. Time for some Fantastic. questions, sir. I will. Okay, sir. Sir, I... Some, I will, sir. Sometimes I will... How to focus the contemplation, sir? Okay, sorry. One more time. Your the video, the audio is a little is 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 it's a little bit fading. So can you say that again? Sir, come to focus the concentration. So, oh, concentration, focus. Come to sometimes I'll focus the concentration little little and something inside the mind. Another one, sir. So you, yeah. Mm-hmm. One more question. All right, sir, tell me that. Tell me, to focus on okay, yes, so your question. So let me let me see if I hear that right, because the, the, the audio is not so good. You're you're asking basically how how to develop your concentration so that you you can stay focused while listening. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, great, great. I'm just going to mute you and answer that question. One second. Okay, that is an excellent question, and um, there are I have a few different suggestions for this. So obviously this is a problem, right? If you're not concentrating, if you're not focusing while listening to English, listening to my lessons, listening to an audio book, listening to anything, then you are not learning. You're not improving. I know we all want to learn in our sleep. It's a great idea, but it doesn't really work very well, I'm afraid. Sorry. (laughs) So how can you learn to focus better? Well, I have a couple suggestions. The, the, The first point is that it's something that you need to practice because in, in all parts of your life. And the, the best way I know for that is meditation. And there are many different forms of meditation. But I, I personally believe that meditation is the best way to develop stronger concentration, stronger focus. There are many, many, many books about meditation. Um, some are spiritual. Some are not. 
uh, it, it doesn't matter. Find one that is uh, appealing to you, so a, that's a, a kind that you like, and just practice meditation, you know, 20 minutes per day. It, it really will help a lot. This is something I need to do. I mean, I have been thinking myself, you know, I need to start meditating again. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's kind of like training for your mind. It's like lifting weights for your mind. So that's one suggestion. Another suggestion is this. We are used to sitting in school, sitting in a chair, not moving, very passively learning. Learning English, learning science, learning anything. And so sometimes at home, we will try to do this way as well, try to do this method, where we sit down in a chair and then start listening to the VIP lessons. And of course, then you start feeling tired and then you start feeling sleepy. So instead of doing that, I highly recommend having your iPod and you know, putting it in your belt or in your pocket and then go outside and go for a walk. Or if you want to shout your answers you know, powerfully, that's good too. You can do that inside. You can just be inside st standing up listening to the lessons. So one suggestion, have your iPod and go for a walk. So you're exercising, you're moving your body. Why is that important? Because it gives you energy. It creates energy in your body, and that helps you focus, helps you concentrate. It gives your mind more energy. Practice the things I teach in VIP and in Power English. Your shoulders are back. Your head is up. Very important. Another great way is with the mini stories is to shout your answers. So when I say, there was a boy, and then I say, was there a boy? You say, yes. And if you're in a small apartment with neighbors, you know, you can shout quietly, yes. Okay, you don't have to scream. But, but giving a strong response and moving your body as you respond, that will, again, it will energize your mind and energize your body at the same time. You won't feel sleepy. You won't feel tired. If you don't want to go outside for a walk, you can listen on your computer. Just stand up in your room and just, just walk. Just walk, you know, take three steps and then take three steps another way. Just walk in a little circle around your room while you're listening to the lessons, while you're giving answers for the mini stories. All of these things are very powerful. I mean, as I'm talking to you right now, I have a phone on my ear and I'm walking. I'm walking around my living room. Why? Because it gives me more energy, more focus, more emotion. So all of those things are, are nice techniques for helping you to stay focused, have energy while you're listening, while you are learning. Forget the, the way in school. School is a very inefficient way to learn, to sit quietly in a chair. It's, 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 it's not good. You actually want to be moving your body. At our seminars, our live seminars, when I'm teaching a big group of people, you know, I demand, I demand that they move. I make them shout and throw their arms up in the air and jump around, and we're going crazy. It is not like a normal class just sitting in a chair. They are always jumping and moving. And so the entire class, the entire group, 100 people, 200 people, 300 people, all of them are focusing, concentrating, and they have energy. So you, you, since I'm not with you in the room when you're at home, you need to do this for yourself. All right, let's see. Let's, I think we have time for maybe one more call. We have one more caller. That's perfect. I think it's, it's Gunther. Gunther, you have to help me with my German pronunciation, but uh, hello? Hello, J. Hey, nice hey, how are you? Here, <laughs> nice to hear time. you. Please, so please pronounce your name correctly for me. Gunther. Gunther. Gunther, okay. that's correct, AJ. You are <laughs> Thank <safe>. you. <laughs> and <laughs> Thank I'm calling you. from Germany, AJ, and I got, got up this morning very early at 7 o'clock to be, uh, to, uh, um, don't miss your, um, 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 time, uh, um, um, seminar, no? And uh, I hope you can hear me and you have got a clear line. This line is very clear. I think you have the best connection so far. Uh, the best connection. That's fine. And maybe you are, uh, let me say, um, I'm, I'm very happy to, to hear your voice. And please remember me to, to Mo. I think she's still listening. 
She is. One second. I'll let her say hello. One second. Say, say hi, Tomoe. Hello. Hello, Tomo. Nice to hear your voice. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> she's sitting right. Uh, she's sitting on the couch across from me. <laughs> okay. Um, AJ, uh, I've got John uh, one question. It isn't a very important one, but one question. I didn't yet uh, um, get your email, which was uh, announced from you. Um, is there a special reason for it? Oh, you mean oh, for yeah. this for this for teleseminar? This. You did not for get an email. For this teleseminar, yes. Did you did you get the new lesson this month? No, I, I didn't get it. Okay, okay, so that's a problem. I, uh, so because there must, um, uh, I uh, I um, believe to know why I was um, ill, very serious ill for some time. And uh, there was no connection between you and the forum and uh, so on. And now I'm going to start again. Uh, maybe you have a look at your uh, email list and um, you can repair it for the future. Okay, yes, yes. And, and I would recommend also, if, if, you, if you did not get the new lesson, that, then please email our customer service, you know, members at effortlessenglish.org. Email Peter and tell him, you know, yes. all your information, and he will he will help you. He'll he'll make he'll check I'm it and find what's it. the problem. AJ, thank you very much for the recommendation. No worries, no worries. Good talking to you. Uh, sorry. It's it, it, it's been good talking to you. Thanks for oh, thanks for chatting. Yes. Thank you very much. You are very kind. Um, I hope you. Um, uh, did understand all of it I, I, I was talking about? Yes, I think so. Oh, that's Thank you fine. very much. Yeah, very clear. I thank you too, AJ, and have a nice day and uh, a big success with your Taylor seminar. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, AJ. Okay, so um, Gunther raises a good point, which is that you know, if you have any problems as a VIP member, if you didn't get the new lesson, if, uh, you know, if there's any concern you have, then please, please, please email our member services department, one person, a one person department, <laughs> and uh, it's, it's effortless, I'm sorry, no it's not, it's members, members at effortlessenglish.org, dot O-R-G, and put VIP in the subject line so that uh, we know you're a VIP member. If there's any problem you have, you're not getting the lessons, then Peter will he'll check our records and he'll find out the problem and he'll fix everything. So please, as, as VIP members, we always want to make sure you're getting your lessons and everything's going well. So don't worry about uh, emailing us. That's the best thing to do. Peter is uh, very good. Uh, he'll eventually find the problem and he will solve it. So, All right, I'm going to take one more written question. Let's see what we got. Whoa, we got a lot of them. Okay, let's see. Uh, is it possible to follow the tem teleseminar on Skype even without asking a question? Yes, I believe that is possible. Or you can just follow on the website, uh, which you probably are doing, I, I'm assuming. Okay. Uh, I answered the writing question already. Movie technique I mentioned. Uh, okay, here, here's a good question. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer this one. It says, from Paul Lee, if, uh, if you plan to come to Korea, when are you coming to Korea to visit and do a seminar for Korean students? Okay, so that's a very good question. It's a common question because I get requests for seminars from many, many, many different countries. People, you know, when are you coming to Egypt? When are you coming to South America? When are you coming to Japan? You know, so I would love to come to many, many countries. But I need help. So the reason we choose some countries is because we have a local person in that country who will organize a seminar. So, for example, uh, this last year I was in Vietnam, in Hanoi. We did a big uh, seminar there because there was a large English club there called Langmaster that organized the seminar. They, so they brought me over there. They found the room they made sure there were microphones and actually they were fantastic hosts they 
did a great job organizing everything. So I need that because it's very difficult for me to organize a seminar from the United States in another country. All right, so we need a local person. So that is the, that's the main thing. That's the main challenge. And it's the main reason I don't go to some countries. It's not because I don't like those countries. It's just because we don't have a, a host, a local person there who can organize everything. And, you know, it's not easy to organize the seminars. You need, you need, a, you need more than one person. Um, and if you have experience organizing events, that also helps. So if... If you want to bring me to your country, if you'd like to organize it, if you have a company or a, a group or a club or anything, then you know, please, please, you know, contact, contact Peter, contact uh, my assistant Amy, just uh, put something on the social site, the VIP site, and I'd be happy to talk to you. Now, specifically about Korea, Korea is is right near the top of my list of places I want to go. There are a few places I really want to go that are kind of my first choices. And Korea is right at the top for a couple of reasons. Reason number one is that my very first English teaching job was in Korea. My very first one. I was teaching uh, little, small Korean children, uh, kindergarten age. That was my first time ever living in another country, and it was my first time ever teaching English. And I was not very good at that time. <laughs> I, did, I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, I was just playing with the children in, in, with, in English. Um, I'll tell that story in the future sometime. But anyway, so for that reason, I, I'm honestly just curious to return to Korea, to return to Seoul especially, and, uh, and just see it again. And also because I know that there's a huge, huge, huge interest and motivation uh, in Korean learners for English that they're, they're very motivated, very serious learners. So for that reason also, I'd love to go to Korea. So... Hopefully we will find a, a good, strong, reliable host and uh, go to Korea. Japan is another place, of course. We have connections in Japan because Tomoe is Japanese. My wife is Japanese, so it makes it a little easier in Japan. But we're still always looking for hosts in Japan. We have one, or actually we have more than one in Vietnam now. Uh, I mentioned Langmaster, and now I've been contacted by some other people. Um, so that's great. Um, Thailand, I used to live in Thailand, so... A little easier for me to make connections in Thailand because I lived there before. And Malaysia, we have a new host in Malaysia who's interested in bringing us for a seminar this, uh, at the end of this year. So we'll probably go to Malaysia. And, of course, we have our wonderful, wonderful, super great group in Barcelona, Spain. And we definitely will be going to Barcelona, Spain again uh, for a European seminar uh, because – yeah, we love them. They're wonderful. <laughs> um, so we're just not sure on the timing because we're in Hawaii now. It's a very long flight to Europe. So we just have to time it, um, find a time when we're going to be a little closer to Europe or when we have more time. I'm exhausted right now because I have been traveling for four and a half months, so I need a break. Uh, but we definitely will go to Barcelona, Spain again. So if I didn't mention your country, then please find a host in your country, or, and uh, hopefully I can come to your country in the future. I love doing live seminars. It's so much fun meeting you in person, and, and it's really a high-energy, fun class, a fun seminar. Uh, so anyway, let's take a look at – see, we have no more callers. If you want to ask a question and you're on the line, press star 2, star 2 on the keypad on Skype. So raise your hand and ask a question. There's one. Looks like Germany again. All right, let's see. So Ondeto. Ondeto is your Skype name. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? I can, yes. Wow. Nice to hear you. <laughs> nice to hear you too. Yeah, that's great. I'd like to use the opportunity to thank you for everything you've done for us. Everything. Well, thank you. It is... You want us to speak confidently and fluently. Yeah. I Absolutely. Think, yeah, I think if we listen to all your lessons every day, yeah, we'll be able to speak confidently because we know what's about. You know, we all know the topic. But, but do we also speak fluently? 
you know, when you apply um, for a job, for example, you are often asked, uh, are you fluent in speech and writing? And here is mm. my question. What is fluency? What can we do to become fluent speakers? I mean, really, uh, do you understand mm. under fluency? It's not only about uh, um, answering yes or no or with short sentence. What do you understand about uh, under fluency? Okay, great question. I'm going to put you on mute and I will answer your question. One second. Uh, the second? Okay, yep. Okay, okay. So, good question. So, what is fluency? So, she's, she's asking, she said that um, we've got, there's two, two considerations, two things to think about. So, number one, I'm always encouraging you to speak confidently. And she sounded, by the way, her English was really great. She sounded very confident and fluent, both. So, fantastic. Good example. So, the second part is fluency. Fluency meaning, she says, what is my definition of fluency? And, you know, we can debate this, so, because this is a topic that you know, language teachers will discuss all the time. How do you define fluency? But basically, fluency is the ability to uh, speak, in our case, speak English you know, very naturally, quickly, automatically, and indeed, effortlessly. So, in other words, if you want to communicate an idea, it comes out of your mouth. You're not hesitating. Thing, and uh, you know you're not translating in your mind. It just flows. It it comes out easily, the same way your own language does. So we have those two things. Number one is fluency. It comes out easily. Number two, confidently, right? That there's that 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 you're speaking with you know strong strength and confidence. And then maybe the final thing would be pronunciation, where you might, if, you, if you're talking to North Americans, then maybe you, you want to try to get more of a North American accent, or maybe you prefer more of a British accent. That's really the, the last possible thing. So fluency, uh, it's very important. So she's, she's saying that it's not enough just to give one-word answers to say yes, no. But for example, in the mini-stories, I encourage you to give short answers. You don't have to shout long answers. A lot of fluency comes from listening. Again, and it's fluency really comes from totally absorbing deeply in, inside the, the core, the fundamental, the basic, the most common phrases, grammar, and vocabulary. So that they, you, you, you know them so well, you've heard them so many times in so many situations that they're just a part of you. And, they, and so... When you want to say them, they just pop out. They come out of your mouth. You're not thinking about it. You're not forcing it. So the importance of the mini stories is not giving long answers. The importance of the mini stories is that you're hearing those phrases, questions, and statements again and again and again. See, as a teacher, my job with the mini stories is to try to repeat those key phrases Sometimes I'm focused on grammar. Sometimes I'm focused on vocabulary. Sometimes both. But I'm just trying to repeat those key phrases in many, many different ways so that you get a lot of repetition in a short time. For example, the phrase, you know, had never. Before she was 10, she had never kissed a boy. So let's say I wanted to teach you had never. Well, I, was, I would tell a story using that phrase, and then I would ask lots and, qu lots, and lots of questions using that phrase. Had she ever kissed a boy before her 10th birthday? No, she had never kissed a boy before her 10th birthday. Had she ever kissed a girl before her 10th birthday? Yes, she had. She had kissed a girl before her 10th birthday. Oh, who had she kissed before her 10th birthday? Oh, she had kissed her mother and her sister before her 10th birthday. And so I would just keep asking all these questions and making these statements. You just keep hearing the question form, had she ever and then also hearing the statement, she had never. And just you're just hearing it again and again and again. You have to really get it through listening a lot so it just sounds totally right and correct and natural to you. So that anything else sounds strange. And when you get that, then actually using it in speech will be fairly easy.
maybe the, in the beginning, just like with a child, the first few times you try using it, it might feel unnatural. But if you just keep listening, you'll be able to use it more easily, more easily. And that's true for all, all phrases, all different words. You just need to master that core basic English. You don't need a lot of complex vocabulary for fluency. Just focus on the way children do it. They don't force themselves to use complicated English. They use the speech they're comfortable using at the time, right now. And they're constantly, constantly listening, 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 listening every single day, tons and tons, lots and lots of listening. And then gradually, they become more fluent, more fluent. Okay, so focus on the, the core, the most common words, the most common phrases, the most common grammar for fluency. And just listen to it again and again. And use it as much as you feel comfortable using it, and it'll get better. Okay, I'm going to take one more written question, and then that will be the end of our teleseminar this time. And, of course, we'll do another one again. Let's see if there's any more. Okay, this, here's a great one. So I'm going to finish it with this one. Sergey from the Ukraine, how to effectively improve vocabulary. How can you effectively improve your vocabulary? And by improve, I'm guessing he means um, expand your vocabulary. Okay, first of all, we need to understand there are two types of vocabulary. This is very important. We have passive vocabulary and we have active vocabulary. Passive vocabulary, that's basically, those are the words that you understand. If you read them, you understand what they mean. If you hear them, you understand what they mean. That's passive vocabulary. Active vocabulary means the words you can use correctly when you write or speak. So point number one, the passive vocabulary will always be bigger. You will always understand more words than you can use correctly. This is natural and it's normal. True for native speakers too. Okay, so it's very normal to, to be, if you read a word, and, or there, to know lots and lots of words when you hear them or read them, but you can't use them in a, in a normal conversation. You just can't remember them quickly enough. That's okay. It's, that's not a problem. That's normal. I, I have the same thing. There are some words that I know when I read them. They're a little more complicated. They're less common. So, but if I read them, I, know, I understand them. If I hear them, I understand them. But I, I don't use them in my speech. So it's important to realize that. And you need to realize that for active vocabulary, the vocabulary you use when you speak or when you write, it does not need to be huge. You don't need to know thousands and thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of words for speaking. It's possible to communicate very complicated ideas using simple vocabulary. It's more important to have a large passive vocabulary, to be able to understand a lot of words and phrases. That is more important because you will hear a lot of words and read a lot of different words. So his question is, how can you improve it? So my answer is, number one, focus more on passive vocabulary. That's more important. Don't worry if you can't use a lot of advanced vocabulary. It's not so important. You can still communicate well. The, the, way, the best way, and this is what the research shows, the number one super biggest best way to improve your vocabulary is reading. Reading, reading, reading. It's the same answer I gave for writing. Reading novels. Reading novels. You want to read lots, a lot of pages. Reading lots of pages of English every day. That is the number one way to improve your vocabulary. And if you add audiobooks, so you're listening also, that will improve your spoken vocabulary. But reading is the, the number one way. Not studying vocabulary books, certainly don't do that because you'll forget it. Instead, read novels. Novels. Again, fairly easy novels. You should understand them without a dictionary. You learn the new words simply by guessing their meaning. 
And it's easy to do because you understand most of the words. That is the way, and there's so much research about this, huge amount, that reading is the number one way to improve your vocabulary, to expand it. But you have to read a lot. Reading one page a day, even if it's difficult, that's not going to help. Oh, it will help. That's not true. It will help, but it, it's not as effective. It's slower. I know a lot, for example, a lot of Korean students uh, that I had in the past, they would read like a newspaper article each day. But it would, they would need two hours to read one page because the vocabulary was too difficult for them. So they're underlining you know, every third word and using the dictionary. That's too slow. That's only one page a day. Instead, read 25 pages a day in an easy novel. And the next day, read another 25 pages in an easy, interesting novel. So it's fun. You enjoy it. And you, you read it one book every week, something like that. That will effortlessly, naturally, enjoyably improve your vocabulary. If you're more focused on audio, listening and speaking, then listen to audio books. Same idea. Or if you want to do both, find an audio book and then find the text version of that book. Make sure they're the same. They're not, it's not a shortened version. It's the, they're exactly the same. And then you can listen to the audio book and then read along as you're listening. That's probably the best way. All right, so that is it. That is the end of our webinar. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're almost out of time. I thoroughly enjoyed uh, talking to some of you today, and I always enjoy connecting with you, especially the VIP members, you guys are so wonderful. Um, I apologize for some of the bad uh, phone connections. We can't control that. Some of the phone lines were clear, some not so clear. Next time it'll be different, so don't worry. We'll do it again. I will be on the VIP social site. Tomoe will also be on the VIP social site. So I will update you on the changes that are coming, the improvements, hopefully. And I will um, start searching for videos to use for the movie technique and other extra audios and things and lessons to add. So constantly trying to improve. I'm back in the United States for a while, not traveling, so I have time again to really focus on making some improvements to you know, the, the VIP program. So very excited. And of course, one of the big improvements will be that we will have a teleseminar again soon. I'm thinking um, maybe in a couple of weeks, maybe two to four weeks, we'll do another one. And uh, in our next teleseminar, I will maybe teach us a short topic first, and then we'll have a little short question and answer as well. So thank you all very much. The recording of this teleseminar will be available. I will uh, put, tell you what, I will put it on the podcast. I will put it on my Effortless English podcast. Uh, you can find that on in the iTunes store. If you have iTunes, just go to the iTunes store, click on podcast, and then just do a search, Effortless English Podcast. If you don't have iTunes, it's free, so just go to apple.com slash iTunes. So I'll put this onto the um, podcast. I'll put a link in our member area, our social site also, for the recording. So anyone who didn't listen to this today, or if you want to listen to it again, just to practice your listening, that's fine. You can listen to the recording. So thank you all so much. Um, good night from Hawaii. Good morning in Europe. Good night in Asia, etc. I don't know what time zone you're in, but uh, thank you so much for joining. It's, it's so wonderful to, to connect with you. So have a, a wonderful day, and we will see you again soon. Thank you so much, VIP members. It's been wonderful talking to you, and have a great day. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs>